The United States Navy helped secure victory in two world wars and the Cold War. Today, the Navy remains a formidable fighting force, but even officers within the service have questioned its readiness. When it comes to naval power, most countries have their fleets, but some stand out as exceptional in their strength and capabilities. These navies combine advanced technology, highly trained personnel, strategic alliances, and robust logistical support to maintain a dominant presence on the world's oceans. Among the latest inventions of these powerful navies is a warship that can destroy the world in minutes. Which country created this warship? How does this affect the naval forces of other countries? As we delve into the details, join us in exploring 20 of the most powerful navies in the world. Number 20, Taiwan Navy. Since gaining independence, Taiwan's government has priorities at developing a robust military to safeguard itself against what it views as a potential threat from China. This focus is reflected in the country's naval forces, which boast a diverse fleet of 93 vessels. Taiwan's navy includes four submarines, four destroyers, two corvettes, 22 frigates, and 10 countermine warships. In addition, the Navy possesses several amphibious assault vehicles and patrol vessels to enhance its operational capabilities. These different types of vessels allow Taiwan to effectively patrol its waters, conduct surveillance, and respond to various maritime challenges. All the destroyers in the Taiwan fleet are KID-class, which have an interesting history. These American-made KID-class ships were originally ordered by the Iranian Navy, but after the 1979 Islamic Revolution, the contract was cancelled. The ships were then used by the U.S. Navy until 1999, before being sold to Taiwan. Now known as the Ki Lung class in Taiwan's Navy, these vessels are equipped with advanced anti-aircraft systems. Among the 22 frigates, 10 are Chengkung class ships built domestically, demonstrating Taiwan's shipbuilding capabilities. The remaining frigates consist of six French Lafayette class and six American-made Knox class vessels. This diverse mix of ships ensures the Taiwan Navy is prepared to handle a variety of naval challenges and defend the country's waters effectively. Number 19. Russian Navy. Two Russian warships from the Pacific Fleet have entered into the Red Sea, and this comes amidst attacks by Yemen's Houthis on merchant shipping in a region that is already crowded with naval vessels. Russia possesses the largest navy in the world when it comes to the sheer number of naval units, according to the Global Firepower Index. This includes an extensive fleet of submarines and corvettes, which are among the largest globally. The country's naval forces also consist of a significant number of destroyers and frigates, showcasing its broad maritime capabilities. The Russian Navy consists of around 160,000 personnel and approximately 360 ships, including an aircraft carrier, five cruisers, 12 destroyers, 11 frigates, 81 corvettes, and about 68 submarines. Russia's naval approach is influenced by its challenging geography. With access to icy northern waters, they need ships that are not only powerful, but also durable enough to navigate through harsh environments like the Arctic Circle. This means that their naval vessels are built to withstand extreme conditions. Although Russia may not be the most technologically advanced nation, it invests significant effort into equipping its ships with the latest technology. This focus on readiness ensures they can respond effectively in a conflict, especially given the potential for Russia to engage in hostilities. The Russian Navy's strategy often centers around resilience and endurance. With an emphasis on outlasting opponents, Russia has a history of demonstrating this persistence in warfare, showing a willingness to persevere and keep fighting until they achieve their objectives. Number 18. United States Navy. Now, the US Navy has started a series of tests on its newest and most advanced aircraft carrier by detonating powerful explosions to determine whether the ship is actually ready for war. Have a look at this. 
The United States Navy is undeniably the most powerful naval force in the world today. It's no secret. The U.S. Navy outpaces others by a significant margin, both in terms of size and capability. While the U.S. may not have the oldest Navy in history, it has made up for that by continually building and expanding its fleet since its inception. Today, the U.S. Navy boats around 350,000 total personnel and approximately 500 ships. These numbers may seem impressive on their own, but what truly sets the U.S. Navy apart is the advanced technology and capabilities of its individual ships. The fleet includes 11 nuclear-powered aircraft carriers, 9 helicopter carriers, 22 guided missile cruisers, 70 destroyers, 21 littoral combat ships, and more than 70 nuclear-powered submarines. These vessels are supported by a variety of patrol boats, landing ships, and auxiliary vessels. A recent report in USNI News sheds light on the United States Navy's plans for the future. The Navy is requesting a budget of $257.6 billion for 2025 and plans to purchase six battle force ships, including an attack submarine, two destroyers, a frigate, an amphibious transport dock, and a medium landing ship. One of the Navy's significant upcoming projects is the development of the Columbia-class nuclear-powered ballistic missile submarines set to enter service in 2031. The Columbia-class submarines are poised to replace the aging Ohio-class submarines, ensuring that the Navy's strategic deterrence capabilities remain up to date. General Dynamics Corporation is leading the program as the primary contractor, and the project began in 2020. In terms of aircraft carriers, the Navy is transitioning from the Nimitz class to the new Gerald R. Ford class carriers. These advanced carriers, being built by Huntington Ingalls Industries, are an upgrade from the Nimitz class, offering the capability to deploy more aircraft, a reduced crew size, and greater electrical power for ship systems. Additionally, these improvements will result in substantial cost savings over the carrier's 50-year lifespan, with an estimated reduction of $4 billion per ship in operating and support costs. Number 17. Bangladesh Navy The Bangladesh Navy plays a vital role in protecting the country's economic and military interests, both within its borders and internationally. It's also a key player in disaster relief efforts, often providing humanitarian aid and assistance in times of crisis around the world. Additionally, the Bangladesh Navy actively contributes to regional counter-terrorism efforts and participates in global peacekeeping missions in partnership with the United Nations. By November 2020, the Bangladesh Navy's fleet included five guided missile frigates, two patrol frigates, six corvettes, and 38 minor surface combatants, among other vessels. Additionally, the Navy operates two submarines. This diverse fleet helps the Navy respond effectively to various situations, whether it's protecting the country's coastline or participating in international peacekeeping missions alongside the United Nations. The Navy's involvement in these missions highlights its commitment to global cooperation and the promotion of peace. Overall, the Bangladesh Navy serves as a crucial force for both national defense and international assistance. Number 16. Turkish Navy The advancement in the Turkish Navy might be a bit of a surprise to some people. Although Turkey does not border any major oceans, it does have coastlines along two significant seas, the Black Sea and the Mediterranean Sea. This strategic location means Turkey needs a strong naval presence to protect its interests and handle potential challenges. The Turkish Navy's fleet includes one helicopter carrier, five amphibious assault ships, 16 frigates, 10 corvettes, 11 mine warfare ships, 35 offshore vessels, and 12 submarines. These diverse ships give Turkey the ability to address a variety of situations that may arise in its surrounding waters. Over the years, Turkey has worked to modernize its navy to stay competitive with larger naval powers. This modernization helps the country maintain a capable and versatile fleet, 
ready to defend its interests in the region. The Turkish Navy's efforts show that even without direct access to oceans, a strong and modern naval force can be essential for a country's security and defense. Number 15. Indian Navy The Indian Navy is one of the world's largest and most capable maritime forces. With around 70,000 active personnel and a fleet of about 300 ships, including auxiliaries, it plays a significant role in protecting India's vast coastline and maritime interests. India has a powerful naval force that includes 18 submarines, with most being diesel-electric, and two nuclear-powered INS Arihant and INS Arigat. In 2019, India signed a $3 billion deal with Russia to lease a Kula-class nuclear submarines for a decade, with the first delivery expected in 2025. India's Navy also boasts two aircraft carriers, INS Vikramaditya and INS Vikrant, with a total displacement of 90,000 tons. INS Vikramaditya is a former Russian carrier that India purchased and upgraded, while INS Vikrant is India's first locally built carrier, which became operational in 2022. These carriers provide the Indian Navy with significant power projection capabilities. India is all set to have a third aircraft carrier very soon. Looking ahead, India is working on its third aircraft carrier, INS Vishal, which will have a displacement of around 70,000 tons. This new carrier is part of India's strategy to enhance its maritime capabilities and assert its presence in the Indian Ocean region. Number 14. Italian Navy Established in 1861, the Italian Navy boasts around 31,000 personnel and a fleet of 249 vessels. This includes a diverse array of ships such as 12 frigates, 8 submarines, 16 patrol ships, and 8 mine warfare ships. Notably, the Navy operates two aircraft carriers. By the end of World War II, Italy faced severe devastation, including its navy. Before the war, Italy's Regia Marina was the fourth largest navy globally, with a combination of modernized and new battleships. After the war, rebuilding the navy was a challenging task due to the damage sustained during the conflict. Italy signed an armistice with the Allies on September 8, 1943, and a cooperation agreement later that month on September 23rd. This cooperation, while vital, left the Navy in poor condition. Much of its infrastructure and bases were unusable, and its ports were blocked by mines and sunken ships. Despite these obstacles, many naval units managed to survive the war, albeit in need of significant restoration due to the effects of the conflict and the age of the vessels. Today, the Navy has returned to its position as one of the best, the flagship of the Italian Navy is the Cavour Aircraft Carrier, an Italian-made vessel that has been in service since 2008. This ship measures 244 meters in length and weighs approximately 27,000 tons, serving as a key asset in the Italian fleet. Additionally, the Navy has two Horizon-class destroyers, known for being among the most advanced destroyers worldwide. These ships strengthen the Italian Navy's capabilities, ensuring it remains a formidable force in protecting the country's maritime interests. Number 13. Japanese Navy The Japanese Navy, officially known as the Japan Maritime Self-Defense Force JMSDF, is one of the largest navies in the world. With around 50,000 active personnel and a fleet of about 155 ships, the JMSDF plays a crucial role in maintaining security and stability in the region. This includes a range of vessels such as 22 submarines, 36 destroyers, 6 corvettes, 4 frigates, and 22 countermine warships. The Japanese Navy also has other vessels in its fleet, contributing to its overall maritime capabilities. Japan's Navy is known for its strength and modern capabilities, one notable aspect of Japan's Navy is its relatively modern fleet, with a median hull age of 15.8 years, which is younger than many other navies around the world. This suggests a focus on maintaining up-to-date 
and technologically advanced vessels. Japan's two carriers, the Izumo and Kaga, have also undergone significant upgrades. Initially, these carriers were designed for deploying helicopters, but starting in 2018, they were modified to allow fighter jets to land and launch from their decks. This enhancement greatly expanded the capabilities of Japan's Navy, making it more versatile and able to respond to a wider range of scenarios. Japan's naval forces continue to evolve and adapt to modern challenges, emphasizing advanced technology and strategic readiness to ensure the country's safety and contribute to regional peace and security. Number 12. People's Liberation Army Navy. This is China's official naval force, and yes, China has been making significant strides in building up its naval capabilities, closing the gap with the United States. The country boasts a modern and powerful fleet that includes submarines, destroyers, and frigates. This fleet has a younger median hull age compared to that of the U.S., indicating more modern and advanced vessels. One of the standout features of China's navy is its two aircraft carriers, the Liaoning and Shandong. These carriers have a combined displacement of around 130,000 tons and are equipped to deploy fighter jets for combat operations. The presence of these carriers demonstrates China's growing influence and ability to project power at sea. The plan also has two helicopter carriers, 51 destroyers, 50 frigates, 71 corvettes, and 80 submarines. While these numbers certainly suggest a significant naval force, it's worth noting that the plan's capabilities don't quite match those of the U.S. Navy. The U.S. has a stronger, more technologically advanced fleet and a larger naval workforce, about 500,000 personnel compared to China's 300,000. The difference also extends to the aircraft on board the ships. The planes on U.S. carriers tend to be more advanced and versatile than those on planned carriers. Nevertheless, China's navy is a significant force in its region and continues to grow. Number 11. United Kingdom's Royal Navy The Royal Navy, with its long history and renowned reputation, currently has around 33,000 active personnel and operates over 80 commissioned ships. This modern fleet includes various types of vessels to handle different missions, demonstrating the Navy's adaptability and capability in safeguarding the UK's maritime interests. The Navy maintains around 170 aircraft, including around 80 helicopters, which support its maritime operations. The main fighter jet in the Royal Navy's arsenal today is the F-35 Lightning II, known for its advanced technology and versatility. The Royal Navy's fleet features two aircraft carriers, six destroyers, and 10 nuclear-powered submarines, showcasing its capacity for global reach and strategic defense. Additionally, it includes 13 frigates and various patrol boats, landing ships, and auxiliary vessels, ensuring a well-rounded and comprehensive naval force. This broad mix of ships and aircraft allows the Royal Navy to effectively respond to a variety of situations. From traditional naval engagements to humanitarian missions and patrols in international waters. Number 10. Indonesian Navy You might be surprised to learn that the Indonesian Navy ranks as one of the best in the world. Despite its quiet reputation in modern conflicts, Indonesia has focused on building a strong navy as a strategic move to defend its vast archipelago. Indonesia's geography plays a significant role in shaping its naval strategy. With thousands of islands spread across a wide area, the navy is the best option for maintaining security and sovereignty. An army or air force alone wouldn't be as effective in safeguarding the nation's waters. The Indonesian navy is made up of around 75,000 personnel and a fleet of over 243 ships. This substantial force allows them to protect their extensive coastline and maintain a strong presence in the surrounding waters. Given their commitment to naval defense, it's clear that Indonesia takes its security seriously. Any potential adversary would need to consider this formidable naval force before attempting to challenge the country. Number 9. Pakistani Navy 
Pakistan's navy is considered to be quite formidable, boasting eight submarines, two destroyers, and seven corvettes. Despite economic challenges, including a drop in the country's currency value and foreign reserves, Pakistan's plans for modernizing its navy are moving forward as planned. The South Asian nation aims to update its entire naval fleet by the end of the decade, according to Defense News. In 2023, China delivered two Type 054 AP frigates to the Pakistan Navy, significantly boosting its capabilities. These frigates are currently the most advanced surface ships in the fleet. The collaboration with China aligns with Pakistan's strategy to enhance its naval power, providing the Navy with modern technology and advanced capabilities. This modernization effort is seen as essential for maintaining regional security and projecting power in the Indian Ocean. Number 8. French Navy When discussing some of the most experienced and historic naval fleets in the world, the French Navy is a key player. Known for its long and storied history, France has a deep understanding of naval warfare and strategy. With a varied fleet, France is well-equipped to handle different challenges that might arise in Europe and beyond. The French Navy's fleet includes one nuclear-powered aircraft carrier, three helicopter carriers, 11 destroyers, 11 frigates, and 10 nuclear-powered submarines. In total, they operate over 180 ships with around 37,000 personnel to keep things running smoothly. While France may not have the largest fleet, it knows how to use its naval resources effectively. This focus on quality and strategy over quantity ensures they can navigate different challenges and work well alongside their allies. Given its history and global influence, it's unlikely that France would initiate a major conflict. However, they would be a powerful ally in a coordinated effort to resolve conflicts and maintain stability. Number 7. South Korean Navy While South Korea is often recognized for its cultural influence, from music to gaming, it's also well prepared to defend itself and its borders. This readiness is crucial given its proximity to North Korea and the potential threats it poses. The South Korean Navy boasts around 70,000 active personnel and a fleet of approximately 150 ships. This includes around 70 aircraft, such as helicopters, making the fleet versatile and capable of addressing various types of challenges. The fleet is made up of two helicopter carriers, 12 destroyers, 12 frigates, and more. This is an impressive force for a country the size of South Korea, but it aligns with the nation's focus on being prepared for any situation. Given the historical impact of the Korean War in the 1950s, South Korea knows the importance of being vigilant and ready for potential conflicts. South Korea not only invests in top-notch ships, but also ensures its personnel are highly trained for operations on both sea and land. This comprehensive approach helps them navigate different combat scenarios effectively. With such preparedness, the Republic of Korea Navy is ready to face challenges and protect the nation. Number 6. Egyptian Navy The Egyptian Navy has a long history of seafaring and strategic importance. Historically, Egypt relied on its navy for various purposes including navigating the Nile River and accessing Europe through the Mediterranean Sea. Today, the Egyptian Navy stands as the largest naval force in the Middle East and Africa. Despite its significant size, much of Egypt's naval equipment comes from international partners like the United States, China, and Russia. The Egyptian Navy was founded in 1820 with a mission to protect the country's maritime interests in both the Mediterranean and Red Seas. The Navy plays a key role in national defense and maritime security, safeguarding shipping lanes, conducting anti-piracy operations, and participating in international peacekeeping efforts. With its roots in ancient seafaring civilizations, the Egyptian Navy continues to adapt and evolve to meet modern challenges and technological advancements. Before we continue, let's have our subscribers pick for today. The UK's Royal Navy is already among the world's most powerful naval forces, but they're taking things a step further with their latest development. 
this massive new warship they are working on is a game changer and could shift the balance of naval power even further in the Royal Navy's favor. This warship can destroy the world in a few minutes. The new vessel is enormous, potentially comparable in size to a small country and is poised to become a major player on the high seas. While the exact details of its weaponry remain under wraps, we can expect it to carry cutting-edge technology and powerful armaments that could have a significant impact in any conflict. The ship's size and scale suggest that it will house advanced radar and missile systems, as well as a large complement of aircraft and drones for surveillance and combat operations. Additionally, it may feature state-of-the-art defense mechanisms to protect itself and allied vessels from various threats. This cutting-edge warship could potentially act as a deterrent against future threats, projecting power and authority in strategic areas worldwide. Its presence alone might serve as a stabilizing force helping to maintain peace in volatile regions. Do you really think that this enormous warship can serve as a stabilizing force? Share your thoughts in the comment section below. Number 5. Royal Australian Navy The Royal Australian Navy has evolved significantly over time, becoming an important force both regionally and internationally. The Navy was established in 1901, originally known as the Commonwealth Naval Forces CNF. This formation brought together the colonial navies from different regions in Australia following the federation of the country. Initially, the Navy was meant to focus on defending local waters. It was modeled after the British Royal Navy as part of the British Empire, focusing primarily on self-defense. However, as the British Empire reduced its presence in the South Pacific, the Australian Navy took on a broader role in regional defence. As Australia gained its independence and its strategic importance grew, the Royal Australian Navy expanded its role. Today, the Royal Australian Navy's fleet is diverse, including two landing helicopter docks and a range of other vessels, such as replenishment oilers. This variety of ships allows the Navy to handle a wide array of tasks, from humanitarian aid to combat operations. The Navy has participated in almost every major conflict which they could contribute, demonstrating their commitment to global security and regional stability. Their experience in various operations around the world has earned them respect and recognition in the naval community. Number 4. Spanish Navy The Spanish Navy also known as the Armada, has a rich history that dates back centuries. The Spanish Navy was a dominant force on the seas from the late 15th century through the mid-17th century. Known for its powerful fleet, Spain played a significant role in maritime history during its heyday. After losing much of its empire in the early 19th century, Spain shifted to a smaller naval force, but its shipbuilding industry continued to be a hub of innovation. Spain's naval history is marked by notable achievements, such as the construction and operation of the first military submarines. The Spanish Navy also made significant advancements in the development of destroyer warships and achieved the first global circumnavigation with an ironclad vessel. These accomplishments reflect Spain's ongoing contributions to naval technology and its enduring influence in maritime affairs. Today, the Spanish Navy maintains a fleet of around 138 vessels, including auxiliary vessels and amphibious assault ships. While it may not be as powerful as it once was, Spain's naval history includes significant advancements in naval technology. In fact, Spain played a pioneering role in the development of the first military submarines. The modern Spanish Navy focuses on protecting its maritime interests and participating in international missions, it plays a key role in regional security and continues to adapt to contemporary challenges and advancements in naval technology. Number 3. Hellenic Navy The Hellenic Navy, also known as the Greek Navy, has a long and storied history. The Greeks have a proud naval tradition dating back to ancient times when they defended their lands against empires like the Persians. In modern times, the Hellenic Navy plays a crucial role in Greece's defense and maintains around 120 warships and auxiliary boats to protect the nation's maritime interests in the Aegean and Mediterranean seas. 
The Greek Navy was officially established in 1828 and is an essential part of Greece's defense strategy. It is considered a green water navy, which means it operates primarily within its coastal waters and the immediate surrounding areas. It boasts a fleet with a total displacement of around 150 tons, making it capable of handling a variety of missions, including protecting Greece's maritime borders, ensuring safe navigation, and conducting search and rescue operations. Its diverse fleet, alongside skilled personnel, contributes to missions for NATO and regional stability. The Hellenic Navy upholds Greece's rich naval heritage while working to safeguard the country's maritime borders and foster cooperation within the Eastern Mediterranean. Number 2. German Navy The German Navy, also known as the Deutsche Marine, has undergone significant changes over the years. During World War II, the German Navy was known for its U-boat submarines, which posed a serious threat to Allied forces at sea. After Germany's defeat and the formation of NATO, Germany became a key member of the alliance, contributing to international security and stability. Though the strategic landscape has evolved since the 1980s, the German Navy has kept up its commitment to being an effective alliance force. In the 1960s, plans for landing operations on the Baltic coast were shelved, but the Navy maintained a diverse fleet that included destroyers, frigates, motor torpedo boats, and submarines, among other specialized vessels. This wide array of ships allowed the Navy to handle various tasks, from minesweeping to patrolling and training. Today, the German Navy operates around 65 commissioned ships, including frigates, corvettes, and submarines. They focus on protecting Germany's interests and supporting NATO operations. The Navy maintains alliances with other nations, working together on shipbuilding and sharing naval resources as needed. By participating in joint missions and providing support to other countries and NATO, the German Navy plays a vital role in global maritime security and peacekeeping efforts. Number 1. Algerian Navy Algeria's navy consists of a total of 196 active units, according to the World Directory of Modern Military Warships, WDMMW, as of June 2023. This fleet includes six submarines, eight frigates, 11 corvettes, three mine and countermine warfare ships, 65 offshore patrol vessels, and three amphibious assault vessels. Notably, Algeria does not operate any aircraft carriers, cruisers, or destroyers within its naval forces. Despite this, the WDMMW characterizes the overall balance of Algeria's naval forces as fair. The median age of the hulls in the fleet is about 16 years, suggesting a mix of older and more modern vessels. While Algeria's navy may lack some of the more advanced or specialized ships found in other fleets, its diverse array of vessels allows it to carry out a variety of maritime operations from patrolling its extensive coastline to conducting search and rescue missions and providing support for its ground forces. Thanks for watching. See you in our next video.